Hey, good evening. Tonight's on Thursday, December 10th. Again, thanks for being here. I'm going to go back tonight to this topic of the smile and the power of the countenance and the bright face. Proverbs 16, 15 tells us that the king's face is like the bright light, light of life, and that his favor is like the clouds of spring rain. Countenance and a smile are a lot more than just putting on a facial expression. The joy and the confidence that comes from the smile that Proverbs is talking about comes deeply from within because of a confidence of who God is. And perhaps this is most powerfully illustrated by Proverbs 31, 25, when it talks about the smile of the valiant wife, the courageous wife, the noble wife. Here's what 31, 25 says. Strength and majesty is her clothing, her clothing. And so she laughs at the coming days. This is not a laugh of ignorance. This is a laugh of confidence. And if you notice the thumbnail tonight, you, you, the picture there is of Ruth. Uh, it's about a year before she went home to be with the Lord. She knew fully what was going on. And we were on the way to church one morning. And I just standing there and saw this smile. So I grabbed a camera, my phone, turned around, took the picture real quickly because it captures so much of what she's about. <clears throat> that deep smile that you see in this picture, it's a little bit off because I wasn't trying to take a picture that I just tried to capture where she was. This smile indicates a tremendous strength within her. And this strength shows that there is a infective, infective, enduring energy. The strength that is there is what Proverbs 31, 25 is talking about. The majesty that is there is there a magnificence of character that comes only from having that confidence in the faithfulness of God. And she was confident of God's faithfulness, even in the midst of the battle with glioblastoma, the most lethal form of brain cancer. She knew what was up, but she knew more that this was God's doing. So she was confident. The commentary on this passage is, is like this smile, this laughing, this joy comes. It's like a conqueror who derides his enemy. So she laughs at the enemy, the coming days. Literally, she laughs at the future. And the future, as we all know, is indefinite. We don't know what it brings. She didn't know how long she would live. She didn't know what would happen. Any more than any of us do. And yet you see the smile coming forth because the future was not her enemy. Whatever it could throw at her, she was confident in. See, this flowed because of her trust in God. So we go back to Proverbs 3 and read these words, Trust in the Lord with all your heart, and do not rely on your own, on your own understanding. Do not rely on your own understanding. In all your ways, know Him, acknowledge Him. And the better translation there is, In all your ways, desire His presence and he will make your path straight. And that's what Ruth did. She desired his presence. She was confident of that. And what did that produce? It produced this joyous smile that you see in this picture. You see her laugh, her smile is a laugh of confidence because she knows what God is about in her life. That's the joy that we can have when we face problems with our lives, our kids, our families. We know that God is with us because we desire him. We seek his presence. We know his peace. And that, brothers and sisters, can bring this smile, this laughing, no matter what comes. God will be faithful to us. And that's the power of the smile that God's called us to. That's what a true smile 
true confidence comes like, and it looks like just like this picture of Ruth. And that's why I wanted to share with you tonight. You have a great night, and Lord willing, we'll see you tomorrow. Good night.